I've always done the plain salted pretzels. Today, I'm going to do a couple of the salted, and then I plan to do at least one of the cinnamon sugar and one with pepperoni and cheese. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get started making those pretzels. First, one and a half cups of warm water. Add that to your stand mixer and then add a tablespoon of sugar. Stir to combine. And then add two and a half teaspoons active dry yeast. Give that another stir to combine. Now you're going to let it sit in the stand mixer for about 10 to 15 minutes so that your yeast has time to proof. Once it's proofed, you need to add a tablespoon of salt to three and a half cups of flour in a bowl and give that a stir. Now it's time to turn on the mixer to low. and begin adding your flour about a half cup to a cup at a time, letting the mixer incorporate that flour in between each addition. If you're messy like me, be sure to add the guard onto your stand mixer so that you don't end up with flour everywhere. Now, go ahead and finish adding your flour a bit at a time, again, allowing it to incorporate between additions. Your dough is going to be very, very sticky, so don't worry about that. Just let it keep going, turn it to medium, and let it knead for five minutes. If you're kneading by hand, you need to do that for about seven to eight minutes. Once you've completed kneading the dough, remove it from the mixer and put the dough into a bowl that you've prepared with about a tablespoon of oil. Turn the dough to coat with oil, making sure that you slide it around the sides of the bowl so that it doesn't stick as it rises. Once you've done that, turn on your air fryer to 100 degrees, set it to proof for 40 minutes. If you're not using an air fryer, cover your bowl with a tea towel and set it in a draft-free place to rise. I'm experimenting so you don't have to. I've heard you can freeze and then cook later and it's supposed to be just as good or almost as good as a freshly done pretzel. So I'm going to make four and freeze four and then pull them out later and bake them and see how they turn out. So I'll know immediately if it's just as good. Okay, our 45 minutes are up. Let's get the dough out. The counter has been washed about four times while I was cleaning up the kitchen and waiting for the dough to rise. So it should be clean and ready for me to punch that down and then turn the dough out. I have found that the easiest thing to do is shape it into a log and then cut it in half. Now I'm going to cut this one in half and then half again. It's almost dry, so let's get started again. Okay, just keep rolling and pulling. You want it to make a rope, and you want it to be about 18 inches long. Okay, so keep rolling. And you want the rope to be as uniform as you can make it all the way down. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna move that one down there and proceed with the other three until I get them all rolled out and then I'll form the pretzels and we'll move on to the next part. Time to form the pretzels. And my technique is not the greatest, but it works. Okay, so you, there, cross it over 
and down. It's pretzely looking. Once you get it formed, put it on a baking sheet that's got some parchment paper. All right, next one, okay, there. Okay, twirl it around and down. And I decided long ago with my pretzels that even if they're not the prettiest, how they taste is what matters and they always taste good, so. Okay, so there's our first set. Again, cutting that in half and then in half and now rolling these. Now I have a gallon of water that I'm bringing to a boil. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of baking soda. Wow, there's this to boil. Okay, this is boiling, so I'm going to put two in there to boil together. Don't want to crowd the pan. And here's the second. Okay, you want to boil for three minutes. And about halfway through the boiling time, I will flip them over. Alright, it's been three minutes. I'm going to pull them out and onto the drying rack. And we'll just continue doing that with all eight of the pretzels. While I'm preparing the pretzels to bake, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the air fryer. 375. Transfer these back onto my parchment lined pans. The ones that are getting baked now, I'm going to go ahead and do an egg wash. I'm just going to paint that over the top of the pretzels going to start with the pepperoni cheese one. This is just an Italian blend of cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle over the top. Okay, this isn't quite like the place in the mall. It's just going to be on here. Try to make it fit nicely so that it can be pulled apart, but I'm not a professional. So there's our pepperoni cheese. I'll sprinkle salt on this one. I believe I'll leave this one plain so that I can do this one with cinnamon sugar and this one some cheddar cheese. Just grate some cheese over it and this is what they look like. All right, now into the oven they go and these four are going to go into my freezer and then in a couple of hours I will pull them out once they're completely frozen and I will bake them and see how they turn out. It's been 12 minutes and I just checked. They look done already, so I'm going to pull them out. They look done to me. Let's, let me just slice into it and see if it's cooked all the way through. My knife is coming out clean. They're done, 12 minutes. You can't beat that. I'm going to take these off to cool. Just going to pour some butter across it. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with some cinnamon sugar. Let it coat. Now. And now I'll move this one over here to cool. Okay, it's the moment of truth. They look great, but how do they taste? It's chewy, it's salty, it's everything that you want in a pretzel without having to go to the mall. It's nice and cheesy. I don't even think it needs anything to dip it in. The smooth creaminess from the cheese, the bite from the pepperoni, honestly all it needs is the marinara sauce. And now finally, and the one I've been waiting all day to try, wow. Those. All four of them are excellent. 
375 again, but I set it for 16 minutes. Here's some salt. So I'll do one more with cheese. I'll leave the last one for another cinnamon sugar because that was really tasty. In they go. If you're doing this in a conventional oven, 400 degrees and start checking probably around 15 minutes to see if they're done. Sorry, I had a moment there. Thought I was recording, but I wasn't. After 14 minutes, I took the frozen ones out of the air fryer, let them cool a little bit, and now it's time to taste test. A little crunchier on top than the others were that were done from fresh instead of frozen. And the air fryer gave it that thicker crust on the outside that you like in a pretzel. So while these were fabulous, these have a little bit better consistency. I have to say my experiment was a success. The frozen ones turned out just as wonderful as the fresh ones. Thanks for joining me today on Susan's Cozy Kitchen. If you liked today's video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And while you're there, hit that notification bell so that you will find out every time I upload a new video to YouTube. Thank you and God bless.